you are all here for the special first moment of for us to present this project, Murals of Tibet. When I saw these murals, I wanted to share them with you. I wanted to bring them to the world. This painting is a philosophical statement. What are you going to do with this precious human life? You know, it's not about belief. It's about education of the heart. Every picture tells a story. Okay, you see the ears? Why are they long like that? The Buddha was raised in a palace. He had heavy gold earrings. When he left his palace because he was aware of impermanence, he took out the gold earrings, but still his earlobes were stretched. All of that is in volume two, uh, where you can see all these lovely commentaries by tons of great scholars who've worked with us. When Benedict asked me what I wanted to do with this, I said, I want a sumo. It's the only way to convey the material from a thousand years of Tibetan murals is with a sumo. You're the only publisher who can do this. If you're not doing it, I'm not doing it. I already saw many uh, books of Tashi, but this is a very overwhelming book. It's much more than a book. I think Thomas Lear, he, um, for me, is a translator from the East to the West. The print, the yeah. print, it's wonderful. It's also bringing it to the world, because the Tibetan heritage is now heritage of everybody. When you see this image day after day in your life, you know, it has a direct impact on you. Don't be afraid of the journey. Begin. <laughs>